Kristen, Cassie, you are the empresses of your own land. Ooh. You like that. I do. It means you get to make all the rules. You dictate all the rules. There's no stupid Congress. There's no stupid agreeing or disagreeing across the aisle. You make the decisions. So today, the two of you for your own homelands are making the decision on there is a maximum amount, a max of wedding showers people can have in your country or they go straight to jail. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's a harsh punishment. Executed. It's your country. You can Ooh. do whatever you want. Oof. So, what is the law? Because we have an email here that says she doesn't just want to have one wedding shower. She doesn't even want to have two. She wants to have more than that. For me, the max is two. Two. It's, it's for the sheer fact of if you moved away from your hometown, um, I had two. So, I had one for my friends where I live. And then I went back to my hometown and had friends from my family in my hometown. That way, you're not expecting people to travel. Okay. Mm. Two is the max. If you try to organize a third, off with your head. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be hard to wear a veil when you ain't got no head. And Cassie. As the Empress of Castlevania, I decree that you may have an unlimited what? number of wedding showers, as many as you like. But there is a caveat. Only one person may be a repeat invite to those showers. So each shower has to have a separate set of guests. And you can only like cross over one, like the maid of honor can come to all of them. Okay. Yeah. All right, that, and, that way it spares the other residents yeah. from the hell of multiple showers, but you are allowed to celebrate your big day as many times as you want. Good deal. All right. So if you invite two, off with your head. <laughs> We're off with the wedding. I mean, we don't have to be so severe. <laughs> All right. KK's got the email. I st uh, typically stay out of petty gossip, especially at work. I'm not engaging in the gossip in this particular situation. I'm keeping my mouth shut and not being part of the talk. However, I've overheard a lot of it, and it just made me curious if my coworkers who are doing all the talking have valid opinions or if this is totally normal and they are all just jealous. Oh, so we just get like an inside scoop of the office gossip. I work in an office of mostly women. Most are all in their late 20s to early 40s. Some are married, some in long-term relationships, some divorced, etc. Well, there's one girl in the office who is engaged and getting married soon. It seems all the women I work with are judging her because they think it is ridiculous that she has planned four bridal showers. Four. She put an exclamation. She has scheduled a family shower, a work friend shower, a regular friend shower, and a couple shower. So the reason for this is just to accumulate more gifts? Um, well, there's, there's a gift aspect of it, but it's to celebrate with different... Sections of like different your life. different group, people groups in your life. Okay. Yeah. Some people want to keep those groups separate for yes. some reason. Like you just know your your coworkers, even though you love them, won't gel with like your college besties who mm. you also love, but they're very different. <laughs> are you speaking from personal experience right now? Yes. <laughs> no, y'all y'all right in. I think it's my college besties who are a little more tame than y'all. <laughs> um, according to them, this girl is being greedy by having so many showers. At first, I was dumb enough to add my two cents to the conversation and said. I didn't understand the greed argument. She could have had just one shower, invited everyone instead of dividing it up between four different showers, but she'd still get the same amount of gifts and nobody would judge her for that. Which, if you do the math, makes total sense. Because mm -hmm. according to this, the same people aren't getting invited to the same shower. She's just doing, instead of one giant shower, four little ones, which actually ends up accommodating everybody. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, I'm wrong. These women said it's more than just the gifts. It's being greedy for attention. They think she wants four different parties with four different hosts so that she is constantly celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> they also pointed out that some friends are invited to more than one of these parties. So what do you think? Is four wedding showers excessive? Do my coworkers have a point? Uh, I think Mo and I are out on this one. Ladies, do your thing. No, uh, you are not out just because know. you have a penis. I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Please let us out because you know, man, it's just the <laughs> pretty exact reason. That's not how this works. The empress has spoken. You must weigh in. All right, I want my head. So, um, no, I think it's excessive. 
I mean, yeah. I'd somewhat get it, but at the same time, it does feel like it has a pinch of she just wants to consistently be celebrated more than just once. It is asking a lot of people to do a yes, lot of work. man. Tommy has a penis, and he wins in on this. <laughs> Isn't it usually, though, the friend or the co-worker or the family member that offers to throw the shower? Correct. It's not like the bride goes, hey, I want four showers. Mm-hmm. It's people coming up to you saying, hey, I'd like to throw you a shower. Yeah, but you're allowed to say, nah, like, one is enough. Who's going to turn down enough. free stuff? You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuller time, Cassie. Um, I think that um, those coworkers need to get hobbies and stop chatting. Who cares if she wants this attention? Maybe she didn't get enough as a child. Like when it's your wedding, I feel like it's kind of a different beast, and you're allowed to have some attention about you. Four? If you're invited to, if you're invited to multiple, guess what? You can say no to the other ones and just not go. Like it's this kind of catty, petty office gossip that I hate. Why are you vilifying a woman for wanting to celebrate with four different friend groups, like a shower and a, a, her big day? It does not make sense to me. It doesn't hurt you. It's not taking away from you. No one is forcing you to participate. Get over yourselves. Go back to work. Get a hobby. I appreciate the high road. Um... I think she's a total narcissist. <laughs> that, wow, we just went, we just swung from one end of the spectrum to the other. Like I do appreciate your open mindedness and your kindness. I think that she's a selfish narcissist. It's a lot if she is re- like, if she's requesting this and people aren't offering, like for Cassie's baby shower, like her sister threw a one for family and myself and Molly threw a one for the Burt Show and Burt's Big Adventure. I think if people come up and offer to celebrate you, um, by all means, but if you're over here, okay, like somebody in the office <laughs> needs to throw me a work shower. My family needs to throw me this. Who's going to throw the couple shower and who's going to, yeah, man, that's a lot. That's a lot. Too much. That's gossip worthy in the office. And if you invite <laughs> multiple people and they don't come to all of them, if she ends up bad mouthing people who don't attend multiple showers, I think then we know where the problem lies. Right, agree. Yeah. But we're not there agree. yet. Touche. The Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.